Welcome everyone to the Rivals Racing League's broadcast of the Rivals Bullring Championship Season 1, race number 7 from Charlotte Motor Speedway. I'm joined in the booth tonight by LT. Woo! I just hit something. So qualifying is currently underway. No. We'll give you a look at the entry list. We have Roro Gonzangalus in the number two machine. Then we have No in the number six. Baron in the 09. Well, it's pretty much everybody from the Texas race. Uh, did we lose anybody from Texas? Yeah, me, because I'm up here now. Uh, you don't count. Did we lose anyone who actually matters? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm only three fifths. All right. That's clearly not what I was saying, but also that is exactly correct. what you were thinking. Anyway, we're about to look at some of the lap time set here. Well, we talk. Have you ever seen the Green Mile? No, but I've heard it's good. <laughs> oh, I, I really hope that you do, because I was going to say something that you would only get if I... Uh, you watch the movie. MG's currently on the pole right now. Butler's on the pole. Coming off a oh, win what? at Texas. Butler is on the pole? Are you stupid? Bro, it literally says Butler. So 30 it says NFG. 29, 8, 9, 4. Right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bro, you are. God. <laughs> you are. I, I, uh, you know, you, I had a rough you, race. You, I had a rough you, race. You, you, you know, I'm kind of, I had a you. rough race. I'm kind of mad. I won't lie. Vehicular Master uh, in first place right now he said a much faster second lap time. Hmm. It was duty. Well, it looks like qualifying's just wrapped up. Vehicle master on the pole, and RC is going to be alongside him on that front row. Interesting front row we got here, and um, you know, if you see the 18 car, you know, he was lagging a little bit last race, and he decided to beat your answer and go to the back and give up his race for us. Um, but uh, well, he said he's not going to be so generous this time. A big surprise is Razor Fan in eighth place. It's a big surprise to me. All right, it's race time. Uh, can I give the last lap? Uh, can I take it away for the last lap? Sure. Thank you. So, um, are you going to do the start lineup? You're mighty quiet today. Are you okay? Sorry, I was looking at my phone. We should be looking at the far row. On row one, we get Vehicle Master and RC. Followed by that, we got row two, we got NMG and Butler. Followed by that, in row three, we got Baron and Joey Legigos. Row four, we got Watermelon and Race Event. And rounding down the back of the field, all the way in the back is no. Um, come on, storylines, dog. Help me out here. Oh, okay. Um, well, so uh, coming in. So, Vehicle tonight, Master. The race itself is going to be 40 laps. Uh, here at Charlotte, just like the previous race at Texas. John Butler starting in fourth place, just got his first career win. Looking to back that up with uh, another win tonight. So another mile and a half. We'll see if he can get it done. Uh, I believe in the, just in the last race, Vehicle Master, starting from the pole here tonight, took the points lead from Racing Fan. Those two will be battling it out tonight to see who can leave tonight's races up front in the standings. NMG had a pretty poor race at Texas with some internet connection issues. We'll see if that improves tonight here at Charlotte. He's looking for a strong run. And then Joey the Giggles had to start the last race from the pits. Not having to do that here at Charlotte. Looking to see if he has a strong run here tonight. Into the restart zone. Vehicle Master will lead the field to green. Here we go. Green flag is boogie out. Boogie boogie. 
<laughs> Let's have a good race, everyone, and God bless America. We're here in Charlotte. We aren't actually the master, in the, Charlotte. The vehicle they, master, they yes, us, we are. Yeah, you, you're in Charlotte. Us. You're in Charlotte. I'm well, not, not I'm in like, Charlotte. I'm close, but I'm not actually. Yes, you are. You're close enough. NFG is going to cycle to the second spot. Vehicle master is already going to do the blocking game. We saw him do that at Texas. Um, and NFG is going to try to peek high. Hey, don't, oh, don't looks be, like RC got into him. Don't be I'm not. I'm just saying what he's doing. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No one's talking to you. Bill Class is going to lead the first lap here. NFG, oh wow, they're all scrolling back there. NFG is blinking more. <laughs> NFG is blinking more than an autistic kid in uh, a uh, photo shoot right now. RC is going to try to peek up under him as Waterman looks to go under our, up, uh, up under RC there. They're all going to single file in the top four. And it, Big run down the back for NMG. 30 seconds will block the bottom. So NMG throws it in up on the outside lane, or at least I think he does. I can't see him. I don't know. <laughs> he might be in the wall. I don't know. He's oh, going to get a run. He's up under that? him. Oh, and thing. Watermelon's oh, going to turn the 48. That was not Watermelon. No, I don't that, think was, that, was that was Watermelon. Oh, okay. and RC NMG. had it saved, and he wrecked himself afterwards. <laughs> okay, well, did he go through the grass? Big run from Watermelon. NMG. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, the 18. <laughs> Dude, dude, he's worse than Scotty right now. <laughs> I'm like, he's in the wall. He's in, he's in the wall. Oh, he's, I think he's got a tire. He's got a flat tire. Bro, his right internet's actually down. not that bad when he's in the fence. Three wide Water for the lead. Three wide for the lead here. The giggles. Uh-oh. Bro, you good? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> you You all right? Oh, watermelon up to the back of Vehicle Master gives him a bump yeah, oh, draft down the back stretch. Biggles throws it now, in on the outside. Now we're three. Now one thing, again. I, and one thing I gotta say with this car, Vehicle Master having a block, he's entering the corner way, way lower. So that's really hurting his entry speed there. So that's allowing these guys to get these runs coming back on the back stretch because you know this car feels like almost. A oh, watermelon! Speed. Watermelon's gonna peak low though. He's <laughs> all the way on the wide he line. Had to he's trying bail to get out it. of it there. He, he was thinking about it, but a little too early. Now he's going to try to jump up in front of the Giggles. not going to happen. The Giggles is going to be on the outside of him. That's going to give Vehicle Master more time to get his plans ready for what he's going to do in the next attack. No, starting in the back. I pointed that out. And he's up to fourth and climbing right now. Pretty good run for him. rest of the field's kind of settled out. Um, you know, sad for RC. Um, <laughs> um, after Richmond, he said he was going to stay hungry, and yeah, he's pretty hungry right now starving even right now running dead last after that contact um nmg is <coughs> i can't see him but i'll guess that he's in eighth place see watermelon still trying to run down vehicle master 36 hooking the white line on oh the white line on both ends of the track watermelon trying to shortcut the front stretch is racing fan in the grass back there trying to get around butler we saw at the last race at texas that biding your time waiting a little bit saving your tires uh, really helped out at the end of the run. We'll see if that uh, applies tonight as well. See, the leaders are slowly starting to pull away. Vehicle Master holding the bottom watermelon, driving it in a little bit deeper and a little bit lower every time than Vehicle Master does, trying to get the car to, the, uh, to have as much downforce on corner entry as he can get it. Yeah, um, out there in Texas, I figured out that if you drive, if you enter the corner first, it's kind of weird. If you enter the corner first up under the car, even when they cut down in front of you, you know, your car grips up a lot when you get that clean air, enter in the corner. You can kind of roll the speed, even when they do come down the middle of the corner. Well, so what, it's really helping get, the 41. Once you get into the corner, you know, even if you lose air in the center, with the way this car is, just how much on throttle time it has, uh, you know, it, it, you can really hold your <laughs> speed and just turn harder. But it does hurt your tires. And with the 40 lap race, we might not see a ton of tire wear, but remember how Charlotte was for the Cup Series. Is there goes Watermelon. And Watermelon is up under the bottom here. Vehicle Master missed the block or in the corner here. He might lose the lead. He's going to lose it. He's going to jive right back down to the bottom. He's going to try to get it back here in turns three and four. Now, you got to think, like you were saying, with tires, the 36 and 41 has been playing games. Both been swapping all over the place, crossing each other over. That's burning the fronts off of the car. And, you know, Pam, we've been in a situation with a car with a lot of throttle. The front tires is the ones that you really want on there for you can turn. Oh, oh Vehicle, vehicle Master's master turn. He wall. goes around. Is he going to get and hit? Gonna, yes, he does. Gonna... Caution's out. Up, wait. Uh, no, Racing yep, Fan's around. Caution's out. Well, Racing Fan, uh, bad luck for him. Vehicle Master the got yellow spun, was out. backwards. We don't um, have very uh, many Oh, cars my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we got energy? two cars on the, on the back stretch upside down. 
Go rewind. <laughs> I will just say, oh man, no, put Butler in the wall. 45's around. Caution yeah, is out. Oh my gosh. Horrible crash in the back. Just get the AMR safety team out. See if we can't see what happened. So if I see this correctly, the 32 gives a bump to the 41. That sends the 41 into Vehicle Master, who hits the inside wall, careens back up the track into the two car, who then slides and gets clobbered by NMG, who goes above the catch fence, but sticks the landing. Well, I mean, it's not nothing like last race. We already have a caution on lap 11 here. Now, you know, based on how the last race was and how this race is, I would expect that everyone comes down for the road. You would be a fool if you stayed out here. But well, then again, you know, the track position, it's so hard to pass here. Would anyone be have the balls to stay out on the old tires? I don't know if they'd stay out, but two tires it looks might like not they be don't. a terrible call. Might not be, but I know here with the cup car, you know, I was um running second. I was mercilessly, mercilessly being absolutely bent over by the 95, you know, he's the best at air block in the business, no matter how annoying that might be. And, you know, it burned off my tires, but he took two, and he still was able to hold me off until we got that late race caution. It was going to be a battle between us, but, you know, with this car, it's a lot more... Oh, and I had a car to back up, but with this car, it's a lot more throttle time than the cup car. You know, the cup car, they're in the run, you kind of lift off, and you were able to roll the corner a little bit. This car, you know... Watermelon gets held up well, in the pits! So no, he's going to lead us off to pit road. Oh, yeah, Legiggles get hauled up, too. Oh, Ligiggles he gets, gets turned. turned. Oh, and that's going to That's, that's going to hurt for the leaders. Yeah, but what I was saying is that with the cup car, you know, you lift off the throttle a little more than this car, you know? So you can kind of manage that tire deficit here since you're so wide open. You know, it's all about grip. And if those lefts don't hook up, then, well, you're going straight into the wall. So the six car of no leads us off pit road. He will be the leader at the restart. Vehicle master will be in second place. Then we have racing fan in third who was involved in that caution. Butler went around coming to get the yellow. He'll be in fourth. NMG and his terrible internet is up to fifth place. For the brief moments, he's actually present on the racetrack, that is. NMG and his internet, good as a match as peanut butter and mayonnaise. No, no, no one thinks you're like quirky and interesting. You're just weird. No, I'm, don't knock it until you try. You should try it. No. Choose coning. The six car is going to pick the inside lane. Vehicle master follows. That'll put racing fan, who's also having connection. Now the two car is like, yeah, I was going to say. Well, what the, is it up? Two, what, people be on the internet on Friday nights, man. I was going to say the two cars are lagging the most. Are <laughs> right on the outside, so. Oh. As somebody who's done four races with this car and also knows a lot about how Charlotte Motor Speedway races in the Rivals Racing League, what do you think, you know, now we see a clean reset, they got a fresh set of rubber on it, what do you think the game plan for these drivers should be going into the next uh, just under 30 laps? Well, you know, at this point in the run, you know, if it was a cup race, you know, you'll probably bide your time, you know, ride around a little bit, figure out stuff, but with this race, you know, I would say track position here is so important and really it's pretty hard to pass. You know, you don't they don't really lift enough on the bottom to make the top really good. So track position here is really crucial. So I think at this point, if you're on the front row, maybe even the second row, your um, your objective is to get up to the front as fast as you can and control the race. Because, you know, if you can get to the front, take away the air, manage your stuff. Everyone behind you is going to burn up their tires. So that's your plan. And if you're anyone row three and back, I honestly just think you just really save your stuff and wait. But here, here going green go. here. Ooh, pretty even launch there. About a six and a two. Going into the turn one, they're going to be side by side. And, you know, you would think the two car would go a little lower to hang on the six quarter panel, but he doesn't. Noah's clear. Vehicle master going to get a run, trying to get back He's going to jump up. He's going to dive down low. Yeah, question's oh. going to be how much do they buy their time? Butler oh, kind of backed off and saved his tires at Texas, which had much less tire wear, and it made the difference at the end of the race uh, to being able to hold more speed on the outside lane. Got to wonder, you know, do these drivers back off, save some stuff? Oh, man! Vehicle Master runs the six right to the bottom, makes him have to bail out of it, but he'll keep the lead. Well, that's going to give Butler a run. He's up to third place. 
And this puts RC back in the lead draft. It does. And along with NMG, too. Yeah, NMG's internet, you know, for the moment seems to have um, somewhat settled down. Oh, there it goes. But hey, it, it's better than it was. But Vehicle Master out front trying to uh, hang on here. Still got 25 laps up here for tonight's race. A lot of time for those tires to wear out. It seems like dirty air at Charlotte's a lot more um, meaningful than it was at Texas. Yeah, the reason why is because Texas is a little more wider. And it's a, like it feels like the banking's more, a lot wider, so you can carry a lot more throttle. Charlotte, a lot tighter here. Not as much room. And, well, air is going to mean twice as much this race. See, No is really entering low in turn one, trying to get as much air as he can. But every time Vehicle Master crosses in front of him, it sends that six car back up the track. If I were him, I'd try entering a little bit higher. Uh, but now he's got the 45 dogging him for that position. As you can see, he's just not quite getting down to the white line, and it's really costing him every lap off turn four. His tires are not going to be happy about that. Said His enough. tires aren't, but now he's got the energy in the pack coming behind him. That's going to give him a little bit of an air push getting to the 36. Wow, he almost he tried to send it in there. Yeah, one of these laps, he's going to have to try the top of one and two. Oh, he's, he's going to have a huge run on the back stretch here. RC is going to have a run on Butler, has a run on No, who has a run on Vehicle Master. He's up there to he the goes. bumper, has to lift. And I think that's going to allow the 45 around the outside of the six car. Yeah, there he goes. Butler to the top. Butler looking to win two races in a row. <laughs> RC's in the grass and on the front stretch. See, Butler's the, one of the only drivers ripping that top lane right now. And it's doing wonders for him. He's already holding pace with the drivers on the bottom. And now he gets a huge run oh, down gonna, the back. He's going to swipe down low to try to get that second position. It looks like the top so, lane's pretty strong, especially compared to how it was at Texas. <clears throat> someone I see, oh, no, just tagged a wall a bit. Someone that I see coming into the battle here is uh, the two car. On that first round, he wasn't really at the front as much, but now he's starting to slowly work his way up there. I think he may have got comfortable with the cars. He's going to have clean air on the RC. RC goes a little wide. That might be contact there. Three wide for third. My, my concern here, though, and, and this is from racing at Charlotte in the Cup Series, with how much tire wear this track has, it's it's no Chicago land. Don't get me wrong. It's not a Darlington. It's not an Atlanta. It's not a Chicago land. That was in the wall again. But it's got enough tire wear that with how much throttle they're using, you got to imagine the tires aren't going to be happy about this. No, and especially if we go green here all the way, um, it would be huge. Oh, my goodness. Thought we about hit a wreck oh, there. 18. 18 is, got is loose. Like, I don't know if he's down there by choice or lag or... Oh, he's letting them go. So it looks like they're all uh, the leaders are all taking a different line. 36 entering pretty low. Um, the 45 entering a little bit higher, staying a little bit higher, and RC kind of diamonding the corner. They're starting to build a gap, but look at that. Giggle's starting to move up here, looking for the fifth place position on the number six machine. Trying to make some passes there as NMG is falling way off the pack once again. Having a tough night yeah, in that 18 machine. Yeah, he let him go because of the lag. Kind of sucks. Um, he was hoping to have a good run here tonight, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way, and tonight's one of those nights. It's now the 45 is starting to close in on Vehicle Master. Now, a thing here is they're, they're teammates. So, you know, 45 already has a win. You know, will he go up there and race the 36 as hard as he would someone else for the win? Well, considering his teammate has two Cup Series wins this season, I'd imagine the 45 is as hungry as ever. To win this race here tonight, win two in a row. They gotta watch out though. RC and Racing Fan. They both had some lackluster races in a row uh, after having great short track races. These larger tracks just have not been their bread and butter this season, giving them some trouble. 48, looking for a good run. Same for the two car. I can't imagine these guys are any less hungry than our race leaders to win. Is Racing Fan gonna squeeze to the outside of the 48? Looks like he's just a little bit faster than RC, looking to get going here, try to get around him, maybe try to run down the leaders. But approaching 15 to go, it'll be 16 this time by the start-finish line. Race is well past halfway, and we're, I think, starting to see some of the effects of the tire wear uh, that I mentioned earlier. And this is, I think, when we'll see some of the guys like the 32 and probably the 41 maybe start making up some time 
uh, on those tires. It looks like they've saved some stuff or some of their stuff, you know, might not have quite as much tire wear on their car. Oh, as a six car almost slides up into racing fan. I thought the six's tires would be worse than they are. They're seeming to hold on pretty well. 15 to go. And Butler is closing in on our race leader. Yeah, he's been running a, he's been getting down there to the bottom, able to hip hook that white line, which is really, really helping his center of the corner speed and his exit speed here. Oh, RC in the wall. Like, has to avoid him, and RC is going to lose all the ground he was hoping to make up. Oh, that's got to suck for the 48 team. He was running, battling for third, and now he's at the tail end of his pack, and the 41's off in the wall, off of four. I do want to say this, though. It's going to be interesting to see the... Oh, man, Butler is all over the back of the 36, but if you look at it, it looks like, one, the 36's tires are fading a little bit, but also it's got to, we've got to wonder just how much tire do the two and the 32 have. They're starting to gap the guys behind them. The 32 is one of the only guys, he and Butler, are running the top lane. And it looks like that's really helping him, especially down the front straightaway. So it seems like the 45 and the 32 are the fastest cars on the track right now. There goes yeah, the and also, also you got to think, uh, you know, the 2 148 were battling, which were really, really severely hindering their chances of getting up to these two cars. But now the 2 is running his own line at the bottom. The 32 is running his line at the top. They're kind of drafting on the straightaway, so they're going to start reeling in these two cars. But once they get there, the tires matter, but, you know, you're not going to get there. They're going to get there. It's not going to be too many laps left. So when will they make their move? I don't know. We'll see this time by the start-finish line. It seems like the 45 has hit uh, a literal air wall. Just can't quite get around the 36. But it seems like, you know, he's really able to get much lower in one and two. It's three and four. They It's hurting him. And ironically, that's the end of the track where he's running the outside. I thought the top lane might be a little bit better. There he goes, trying the bottom. Just seems like th turns three and four, Vehicle Master is able to hook the inside just a little bit better than Butler does. But he is still all over the back of that 36, but he's going to have to try something different because every time in turn one, Vehicle Master just shuts the door takes all the air off the front end of that 45 machine. But if you look at it, Racing Fan and Giggles close in on our leader that lap. It'll be 10 laps to go this time by the start-finish line. Yeah, Butler's going to have to finally switch up the line here. Um, Vehicle Master really likes that bottom. And Butler, he was one of the drivers that was running the higher line at the beginning of this run. So I'm not sure if his car is handled the way he wants, but he is not. He hasn't went up there yet. So maybe he's just trying to buy his time, run the low line, be a little patient, and maybe he'll run that high line if he has to. Oh, he's got a big run down the back. Oh, there he goes. High. There he goes. Oh, he's going to have the clean air. 36 is going to slide up a little bit off the exit. Oh, he's going to have a bottom. huge run. This is going to have to be it. Oh, he's going to have to make shoot a break here. He's going to go up high. I thought he would try to cross him over to the bottom. He's on his door. Now, with 45, he's got to pinch that 36 as much as he can to hurt his exit. The tires are hurting on that car. And oh, he didn't need to, but they're going to be door to side, door. While they're side by side, that's going to allow the drivers behind him to catch up slowly. He cleared him. Close, yeah, he cleared him. Takes his sure air the 36 away. Let him go or what, but Butler cleared him. Butler to the point. Look at the gap back to Racing Fan, though. It was 1.4, then 1.3, 1.2. This time by the start finish line Nine under a, yeah under a second that two cars flying yeah you know that exchange from the lead when they were battling side by side that slowed them down because they were side drafting each other and that allowed the two car to catch right up now what's the two car gonna do when he gets to the thirty six see the thirty six is trying to run the bottom but the dirty air is clearly hindering his progress we'll see what racing fan does he is vi even you can visibly see he is really closing in giggles. Really closing in back there. Six tenths. He closed in three tenths last lap. And now Vehicle Master taking a run to the high lane, trying to dime in the corner. He's going to have a huge run on Butler. The more these two duke it out, the more Racing Fan's going to close. But he's just going to push Butler down the back stretch. Not what Racing Fan wanted to see there. These two teammates working together. Oh, but he's going to close anyway. It doesn't matter. No, he is there. Matter. That two is sitting on the fire and he's ready. Giggles closing in a little bit as well. He's almost under a second. And you can see Giggles is ripping the wall up there. 
third lane. It's be five to go next time. Bye. Oh, so. racing fans going to get a big run racing down the back stretch him. here. That two car, he has clearly saved his stuff and he is ready to make a move. Oh, they're sliding oh, up. It's going to be three trying. wide. It's going to be three wide for the lead here. Here comes racing fan. Three wide at the line. Who's going to lead the lap? Butler clears on the outside lane, but now racing fans going to have to deal with dirty air and a car on his outside. Can yeah, he that stop? car isn't going to handle. Oh, oh he stuck it. 36. Oh, he's, he stuck it. He's yeah, there. he stuck it. He's, he's there. He's I didn't there. realize a 32 and a 6 are coming with him. Giggles yeah. is a second. I don't know if you'll have the time, though, before to go this time by. Racing fan. Oh, he's going to enter a little bit lower. How oh, bad is get stuck. How bad is the dirty air going to affect him? Does he try the high lane? The 6 is in the wall a little bit in the back. There he goes. Four laps to go here. Well, that's too He's going to have to make his move really soon. But, you know, he doesn't want to get stuck because the 36 is right there waiting for the two to make a move. And he'll be right there to side draft him. But the two is going to have to make a move. Probably be on the back stretch right here. He's pushing the 45. He must feel confident in his speed trying to get them away from Vehicle Master. Oh, but he's going to get a big run. He has to check up, though. And that's going to hurt his speed. Oh, Vehicle Master on the fence. Almost in the wall. I think he touched it just a little, but none too much. Three to go. Let's see what he's going to do here. There he goes to the top lane. Oh, he's not going to quite stick it up there. Oh, but he's going to get a run down the Look back Look at the stretch. 32 car. He is. He was ripping that wall entry. Going to be two to go this time. He's up under him. There he goes. Now, this is what I wanted from the Bullring Series from day one. Side by side. The Giggles is there. Two laps to go. The 6 and the 32 are there. Side by side. Butler still leads the lap. Oh, is Vehicle Master going to send it? A, ra a racing fan trying to block him. Not going to make it stick there. He's going to slide up in front of Vehicle Master heading to the back stretch. He's going yeah, to try to get that push off of exit. Vehicle Master is going to swipe it. He's going down low. Uh-oh. Big blocks there. See what kind of run they get. Racing fan is going to have the top here. He's going to clear the 36. A big run on the 45. Down yeah, the front straight away. His nose. Crossover. Oh, he hits up. him. He's going to save it. That's going to kill his run, though. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that might have just sealed that the deal for Butler. That might be all she wrote. I think that's all she wrote. He failed crossover move. John Butler won his first race of, the, of his career last time out at Texas. Got the lead. Held off his teammate. Holds off racing fan in an exciting battle at the end. Take it away, LT. Coming off of turns three and four, the 45 car is going to be victorious again in 2024. John Butler wins at Charlotte. Oh, I just got to feel bad for the two car there. He, uh, he, he had it there, but he tried to cross him over and a little bit of a bumper hook there. All right. Go ahead and get the results here in a moment. But what a race from the 41 machine. 42, you mean? 45. Jeez. <laughs> we both messed up. <laughs> we, we both were pretty, uh, <laughs> so excited, Kevin. I see the numbers yet. I might just be dyslastic, but, um, get to. We'll go ahead and get him for an. I'll do him do his burnouts in a moment. Getting it uh, going ahead and getting the results saved. Here we go. Uh, burnouts available for him now. There he goes. Let's see if we can't dial up our third place finisher in the. Uh, I think it was I'll there. interview our third. I'll interview our third. Um, you do our second. I'll do first. All right. Want to go ahead and move him in here? Um, yeah, as soon as I get out of my game. Oh, I can move him. Um, uh, who, who finished third again? Was it Racing Fan? I believe so. Okay. I should have checked. <laughs> racing Fan, you came oh so close. You got a little bit of contact there. Tell me to take the white. Tell us what you could have done different to get the win here. Uh, man, well, I mean, I had the run on the outside. Vehicle Master tried passing me on the bottom. And somehow I just had the momentum on the top. I really should have just stayed on the top. I had the momentum. And I tried to juke though to get underneath Butler. And he blocked me. 
and that bumper grab happened. I don't know how I didn't spin out, to be honest. I definitely should have spun, but somehow I hung on to that. Uh, disappointed. I really think I had a shot to win, and I did, but I made a move that I really shouldn't have done, and it cost me to win. Well, racing fan, in the first run, you know, you didn't really look too fast in the first run. And then second run, you were kind of back there battling with RC. Um, Tell us, did you do anything different that second run to maybe save your tires more for you could make a run up there to those guys? Uh, I just tried my best to hold the bottom. Um, by the time I got to RC, I tried getting by him, but it was clear that RC used up his stuff uh, way too early somehow, and he was just slow. By the time I finally got around him, it, it took a while to get up to Vehicle Master and Butler, but by the time those two got side by side for the lead, it allowed me to just gain time because I was just getting on the bottom as much as I could and I was actually gaining ground. And yeah, I I played it off well. Um just made a stupid move there at the end of the lap early and it cost me to win. Well, you had a pretty strong run here. Much needed strong run. Um congratulations on your third place finish. Thank you. No problem. Now we'll go ahead and talk to our second place finisher for a second race in a row. Vehicle Master, get another 1-2 for your team tonight. Butler taking the win, you getting a second place, the strong run tonight. Talk me through your battle for the win and uh, your thoughts on tonight's race. Um, boring race overall, um, but towards the end it got better because um, my tires basically were balded. Um, used up used up a bit of my stuff, so I was kind of expecting it. Um, but other than that, Glad, Glad Butler got got some wins, getting getting get up there in the points, and me close behind, so that's good. And so what did you think of uh, Charlotte in comparison to Texas? Seemed like uh, it was quite a bit more tire wear, uh, even after we had that uh, that caution early that reset things. Uh, what was your mindset going into that final run of the race, trying to hold off your teammate and racing fan for the win? Basically, just park the corner more, but. Whenever they get to your, whenever like you get down the back stretch, you can't like take the full corner because you have to block the inside, and they're gonna get there. So towards the last like five laps, I realized like the outside line was better. I just didn't end up taking it because I'm stupid. All right, well, congratulations on your team one, two, two races in a row uh, for your team. All right, and let's go ahead and pull in our race winner. Uh, LT, go ahead and uh, take it away. Butler, come here tonight. Win Texas. Get that first win. Check it off the box. And then you come here and back it up with another win in Charlotte. How you feeling? I'm feeling like $5 right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, we saw you. You know, we, you did the same thing. You know, Texas kind of waited. You know, spent your time trying to ride around, you know, scope out what they were doing up front. Passed them late at Texas. Did the same thing as Charlotte. Tell so, I me, mean, what was going through your head there, knowing that you had to, you know, pass a teammate this time for the win? Honestly, it was all about just finding the right place at the right time. I mean, Vega Massa is pretty good so far this season. So it was just all about finding the right place. The the high line was definitely the best line around Charlotte, but I just didn't use it until late on because only if I needed to buy somebody. Yeah, we saw you run the high line kind of a little earlier in the run. So when you ran up there, you know, did you do it by accident or did you do it on purpose? By accident. Definitely by accident. I was just trying to figure out where to go. And I saw, I don't know who it was, but somebody went low. I was like, you know what? Let me try this high line. And it seems like it was, it was all right. Worked out. Well, all right there. Great win. Two wins in the season. Congratulations. That audio sound at the end was, I don't know what that was about. Anyway, well, LT, what did you think about tonight's race? Um, would have been better if I was in it, but uh, it was a pretty good race overall. Uh, looks like it was a lot of dirty air, you know, cars having to search around, which is kind of what you want, you know, in Texas, everyone was just able to ride in the line, so made it pretty hard. So, you know, people having to switch up the lines definitely made this a lot more entertaining than uh, Texas, at least from a driver's perspective. Um, I kind of wish I would have did my start, uh, saved it, and didn't run Texas around this. But all in all, I feel like it was a pretty fun race, and 
I just can't wait to get back behind the wheel of a car. All righty. Well, I I hope that uh, everybody watching this enjoyed tonight's broadcast. A great race here tonight at Charlotte. Congratulations to John Butler for winning two in a row here tonight. Swept the races, uh, Texas and Charlotte. Uh, but we'll see you guys.